Okay, the next problem says one card is picked from a 52 card deck. Okay, what is the probability that the card is a heart or a number card greater than six? Okay, so this kind of problem has a lot of information in it and you really need to pick it apart to understand what it's asking you to do. First of all, you see the word or in there. So you know that you're going to have two probabilities that, that e or two events, either one of which can happen, uh, gives you a success. Okay? One card is picked, only one, from a 52 card deck. What is the probability that that card is a heart or a number card greater than six? So, you know, you're not going to figure this out by thinking about it all day. By the way, that's, that's exactly true. You know, a lot of times you'll read these problems and your first thought is just going to be to think about it and think about it and think about it. Maybe somehow it'll come to you what the answer is because, you know, you may lock up. Don't do that, okay? Just, just start with what you know and write something down and start working through it because these problems you are very unlikely, very low probability that you'll actually be able to figure out the answer just by reading it. Uh, you're probably not. You just need to start writing what you know down to be true and working from there, okay? So what I always do because I'm comfortable doing it, the very first thing I do is I label my events. Event A is you get a heart. Okay? And event B is you get a number card, so no jacks, kings, or queens, or anything else, number card greater than six. Okay? Number card greater than six. Now, before we actually go any further, let's just you know, if, if you can, draw a Venn diagram to kind of help you visualize what's going on, okay? Event A is right here, okay, which is getting a heart. Is it possible for A and B to happen at the same time, okay? Can I have a heart and also a number card greater than six? Of course you can. You can pull a seven of hearts or an eight of hearts or a nine of hearts or a ten of hearts, and that would be a valid intersection of these two events with A and B happening at the same time. So this Venn diagram is actually going to have some overlap unlike the last one. So it'll be a little bit more interesting. Now the next thing you do to kind of continue working through it is the probability of A uh, union with B, which is A or B. I'm going to continue helping you out here by writing it A or B just to kind of help you remember that that's A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B and I explained why you're doing the subtraction earlier. You're doing the subtraction because you have a double counting of this center region here from probability of A and probability of B. You're double counting the intersection here so in order to get the union of both you want to subtract off one of those intersections. So that's what we're doing. So we have to calculate the value of A, the value of B, and the intersection here. So let's do that. Okay. What would be the probability of A? A, the probability of event A is pulling a heart from the deck. So, how many hearts are in a deck of cards? Okay, there's 13 hearts in a deck of cards out of 52. There's 13 out of 52. What is the probability of event B happening? Event B is getting a number card greater than 6. That means I can pull a 7, an 8, a 9, or a 10. Okay, that's four, seven, eight, nine, ten, but there's all different suits. There's four suits. So there's four uh, cards times four suits is 16 total cards for success. I have four cards, seven, eight, nine, ten, but I have four different suits. So there's 16 total cards to make B a success, again, out of 52 cards. Okay, so that's what the probability of B is. What is the probability of A intersection would be, which is A and B? So A and B would be, you get a heart and it's a card greater than six. So you have seven, eight, nine, and ten of hearts. So you have four cards, seven, eight, nine, ten of hearts. There's only four cards like that out of 52. Okay? So we have everything we need. So the probability of A intersection with B, I'm sorry, A uh, union of B, which is A or B, is going to equal probability of A, which is 13 over 52, plus the probability of B, which is 16 over 52, minus the intersection of the two, 4 over 52. Okay? And when you actually do this, the 13 plus the 16 minus the 4, you're going to get 25 over 52. And that's the probability. So it's the same kind of thing. You label your event A, you label your event B, calculate the probability of A, calculate the probability of B, calculate the probability of both occurring at the same time, and then use a little relation to get the answer.